morning children we'll continue the chapter lost spring stories of stolen childhood like sahabe alam there are 10000 other rag pickers in simapuri simapuri is a place which is on the periphery of delhi do you know what's the meaning of periphery periphery means outer edge or boundary now you see the book see the line seema puri is a place on the periphery of delhi at miles away from it metaphorically what's the meaning of this line when you hear delhi what's the image that comes to your mind a metro city with very rich and sophisticated people with very high standard of living even though seema puri is on the outskirts of delhi as far as development is concerned it is miles away from it squatters who came from bangladesh way back in 1971 live there squatters what's the meaning of this word s q u a t t e r s squatters means persons who are living on a land without permission or rent like this nearly 10000 rag pickers live in seema puri how do they live there in structures of mud mud houses huts with roofs of tin and tarpaulin without devoid of sewage or drainage or even running water these people have lived there for more than 30 years without even an identity they don't have any identity but they have ration cards that enable them to buy grains and get their names on voters list see children even these poor people are vote banks for the politicians but it is okay for these people for them food it is much more important than an identity okay in seema puri survival means rag picking for everyone or for all these 10000 people they live by rag picking but for the children garbage has a meaning different from what it means to their parents you read the line once again for the children garbage has a meaning different from what it means to their parents what's the meaning of this line when the small children scrounge in the garbage heaps they expect to get a coin a note or something valuable in it sometimes when they scrounge when they search for in the garbage they find a rupee or even a 10 rupee note this gives them a hope of finding more and more and they search it with much more excitement that's why for children garbage is wrapped up in wonder but for the elders rag picking means survival if they have to survive they need to find it, find something valuable from it thus garbage has two different meanings for the children the meaning is different and but for the elders rag picking means survival on one occasion you can say one winter morning the author finds sahib standing by the fenced gate of a neighborhood club watching two young men playing tennis at that time sahib was also wearing tennis shoes but they were too big for him in fact they were discarded by some rich boy even though he liked to watch the game he never gets a chance to go inside or play the game it is in fact out of his rich now sahib has taken up a job at a tea stall 
he is paid 800 rupees and all his meals now food is no more a problem for him but his face has lost the carefree look the steel canister in his hands seems a burden for him when he was carrying that big sack on his back he was happy he was his own master now he is no longer his own master he is not happy with his new job the first story that story of sahib it's over we'll discuss the question answers tomorrow okay thank you children